don't, don't, don't call me Superman if you haven't found my kryptonite. What is going on, YouTube? It is the BK Cops 360 here, and of course, people have been talking about the AMD Fury X2. Now, that, of course, that is the successor to the Big 295X2, which has pretty much been said by many to be one of the best dual GPU cards to ever hit the market, especially at its price point and you know the water cooling and all the different features that they brought with it. But anyway. The Fury X2 is set to be hitting before 2016. Now keep in mind, this is going to apparently, I'm saying apparently and allegedly, because this is not confirmed, this is a rumor. Keep in mind the date, 2nd of December 2015. Uh, this is apparently supposed to be a paper launch. So of course the actual card won't be available when AMD you know, unveils this chip. Like the actual card itself, you can't go and buy it off fucking Newegg or PC case gear, M-Wave or whatever. You won't be able to do it just yet. It's just a paper launch. That's what happened with all the, all the other Fiji cards. And this is usually because AMD is having issues with um, getting the card produced, um, getting the card out to consumers and whatnot. Other just um, distribution issues, technical issues, production issues and whatnot. But anyway, look, continuing... Uh, what is interesting is that this card is supposedly going to launch before 2016 and it's going to have a launch price and this is really weird of $1,070. Now, $1,070 just by this rumor sounds dumb. It's a very awkward price. I mean, yeah, man, I've got my new fucking, I've got my new GPU tech and I'm thinking of launching it. You know, $1,070. I mean, how dumb does that sound? It just sounds stupid. So let's just take it between the $1,000 and $1,100 mark in which case would be very very good because look the 295x2 launched at fifteen hundred dollars initially and even then it was that's pretty decent for what you got you got two overclocked 290x's and you got a water cooler so that price was i wouldn't say justified but it was close to being justifiable in fact when you compare it to the fucking titan z the worst dual gpu card of all time then it was definitely justifiable. But anyway, if this card launches between $1,000 and $1,100, then that is very, very good. I mean, that is insane. Now, of course, how much is the cost of one Fury X? I believe, I don't know, five to $600? Uh, maybe five to six fifty. I don't really keep track of prices, especially uh, American prices, because I don't live in America. I'm not always fucking checking every day. Oh shit, what's the price of the Fury X? But um, yeah, it, it seems like a very good launch price. I mean, I believe the Fury X launched at an RRP of five ninety nine or six fifty. One of them, maybe six ninety nine. No, it wasn't that high. It was either five ninety nine or six fifty. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, this is gonna be theoretically. Based on original RRPs, it'll be less than the cost of two Fury Xs. But of course, will that be the case by the time this card actually launches? I don't know, man. I don't know. But hopefully, I'm hoping this card is overclocked as well. Just like the 295X2s were. Or not X2s, but the 290Xs in the 295X2 was. Um, I'm hoping it just performs well. Hoping it's got a good water cooler. I'm just hoping it's going to be a good card. Because why would I hope for a shit card? AMD is in trouble financially and we need to make sure that what they put out is good. We need to make sure that what they put out is good enough to get bought by a good amount of consumers so they make money so they can continue to compete with Nvidia and with Intel so that we don't get a monopoly. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to say monopoly, but there could be a monopoly maybe between them. Um, so, you know, Nvidia and Intel don't have their own monopoly in the respective markets. So, yeah, that was a lot I just spoke right then. That probably sounded like shit. But leaving that to go, what are the rumored X2 or Fury X2 specs? It's rumored to have a 1000 megahertz core clock, um, 8 gigs of HBM memory. Of course, that's 4.4. So it's not really 8. I mean, with DirectX 12, it might actually be really 8. But as we know now, it's just 4. Theory, or like four usable gigs of memory. 8192 stream processors. Look, I'm not going to go through this. It's just fucking two Fury Xs. So pretty much, guys, that is it. I mean, uh, 500 megahertz memory frequency. These are just rumored specs. The reason I said I'm hoping it's overclocked is because they're rumored. You know, you never know if this is true or not. But we're just going to have to wait and see. So look, guys, I know my voice sounds a bit bad. It's been bad since I got back from the Gold Coast. But yeah. So anyway, guys, look, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Look, the big K. We'll see you later.